is the lower jaws which move. It hangs on two hinges. And if you put your fingers on your jaws, just in front of your ears, you can feel your jaws moving. As a matter of fact, you can actually hear them click. Now, you just try it with me. One, two. 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 Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh. Well, that'll be enough for that. Now then, we will go on to the uh, spinal column, commonly known as the backbone. What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't hear them click. Well, take your fingers out of your ears. In any case, we're past the clicks. We're on to the backbone. Oh, <coughs> the backbone. Now, how would you define the backbone, Willie? The backbone is a lot of little knobs, one on top of the other. Your head sits on one end, and um, you sit on the other. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uh, quite true, but very badly expressed. You should have said, your head sits on the top, and you sit on the... Bottom. Bottom, yes. <laughs> that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Now, the forearm is, is hinged at the elbow, and uh, this allows the, the forearm to, to move up and down like that. You see? So it's a quite perfectly free... Uh, oh, oh, thank you. Oh. Yes. <coughs> ah. uh, oh, boys, that'll be all for now. Uh, we'll finish with this. Uh, just carry on with the notes I gave you, and, uh, Jimmy, put uh, Napoleon away, will you, if you don't mind? giving my weekly lesson at the prison this afternoon, I should keep you all in. But don't think I shall forget it. The order Lepidoptera contains more than 50 families of butterflies and moths. The generally accepted distinction between them is that but uh, butterflies fly by day, whereas the moths are nocturnal in habit. Uh, that means, of course, that they go about their business at night. <coughs> Uh, we must remember, however, that they all belong to the order Lepidoptera. I have written the name on the board so that I shall remember, uh, so that you will remember it. Lepidoptera. It comes from the uh, Latin. Pardon me. Don't you mean from the Greek? What's that? Don't you mean from the Greek? No, no, from the Latin. I'm afraid you're slightly misinformed. It's from the Greek. Oh no, no, no. It's from the Latin. You see, uh, uh, when the Latins conquered the Greeks. They uh, more or less uh, adopted a lot of their customs and they uh, uh, took a lot of their words, you see. Uh, th th this was one of the words they pinched, uh, adopted. The Greeks had a word for it, but uh, they liked this one better, that's all. I still say it's from the Greek. And I say it's from the Latin. And if I say it's from the Latin, it's from the Latin. You're new here, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I thought so. Well, when you've been here a little bit longer, you'll catch up with the other boys. It's definitely from the Latin. Letty, meaning... Butter and butter meaning fly. Butter fly. From the Latin. <coughs> the cocoons of most moths are strength. Oh, yes. What is it, Brown? The governor says you'll see you now, sir. Oh, oh good, good. Thank you very much. Uh, that will conclude the lesson for today, gentlemen. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, would you help me with my cases, uh, Brown, please? <coughs> Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Yeah. It's from the Greek. Good afternoon. Well? Uh, I wonder if you'd be good enough to write a letter for me. A letter? To whom? Well, I've applied for the headmastership of a big school. What school? Narkover. Do you know what sort of a school that is? Yes. It's a public school, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and this is a public jail. Hmm. But uh, I don't see the connection. Oh? Well, the connection is that when they leave Narco, but about nine-tenths of them come here. Oh, do they? Hmm. Oh. In fact, we had someone from there last week. Yes, here he is. 
Sykes, oh, Dr. Sykes. Yeah, he was the headmaster. Headmaster? Oh. Here. Is he a fellow with a, a thin face and a longish nose and sort of looks at you like that? Yeah, that's him. Oh, yes, I've seen him. Yes. I had to pull him up over his Latin, uh, Greek. What's he in for? Penmanship was bad. Penmanship? Yeah, wrote the wrong name to a check. Oh. <clears throat> well, maybe it's his job I'm applying for. Well, as long as we got him here, you might as well go there. Sort of a fair exchange, right? Yes. Yeah. Brown, take a letter, will you? Very good, sir. The governors of Narkova School. Gentlemen, I have known Dr. Alexander Smart. Uh, M.A. <coughs> M.A. for some time. For a long yeah. time. For a long time. And consider that he is... Uh, the ideal person. The ideal person to be headmaster of Narkova School. Have you got that? Yes, sir. Yours sincerely. Oh, you might just say that I'm a, a very strict disciplinarian. With regard to his ability to keep order and discipline, I think that he... Uh, don't you think it would be better to say, I'm sure... Is he still that little... I'm little sure little. that he will give every satisfaction. Yes, and you might say that I've been teaching here for two years, and that... Uh, Yours I'm sincerely, etc., etc., cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I've never had any trouble with the... Uh, oh. oh, well, thank you very much. You don't mention it. Good day. No, oh, I'll wait for the letter. Brown is leaving us today, as a matter of fact, and he'll bring the letter over to you. Oh, but I could save him the walk. Oh, the walk will do him good. Are these yours? Yes, they are. <coughs> Let me open the door for you. Thank you. Yes. Gentlemen, I cannot express the honour I feel in taking over the headmastership of this world-famous uh, school. I shall always try to maintain the traditions and... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, dear. Come in, Brown. Good evening, Professor. Good evening. The governor sent me over with your letter. Oh, good. Oh, oh that's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's sealed up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Brown, you've no idea what this letter means to me. There's no telling where it'll get me. Why, that, that's very likely a stepping stone. A stepping stone, Brown. More likely a stumbling block. Eh? You don't know what's in that letter. Oh, yes, I do. Why, I practically dictated all of it. Ah, but I didn't write down all you dictated. Eh? No. The governor wrote one of his own after you left. And that's it. But isn't that the one I dictated? Oh, dear, no. Here's the one you dictated. Oh, so it is. Hmm. Well, what's in this one? Would you like to see? Yes. <clears throat> oh, wait, 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 what are you, oh, you going to do? Oh, oh, I shouldn't do that. No, that's opening it. Uh, maybe the governor wouldn't want me to... Uh, he wouldn't want me to see what, it, what, what was in it, you see. <coughs> Gentlemen, fairness to you and your school, I regret to say I could not possibly recommend Dr. Alexander Smart. Oh, didn't even put the M.A. Not much of a stepping stone, is it? No, <coughs> I think stumbling block is more like it. Here. Why don't you send this one? But the governor didn't sign it. Oh, no, so he never... Hmm. Pity. Yes. Where's your pen? I can fix it. Could you? Uh, I, uh, I mean, what, what do you mean? Well, I could write his name as good as he can. Oh, but that, that would be forgery, wouldn't it? Oh, what about it? Oh, no, I, I couldn't agree to that. Well, that would be getting a job under false pretenses, wouldn't it? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Well, I've never done anything dishonest in my life before. Besides, uh, <coughs> this would be a very difficult signature to copy, wouldn't it? Think so? Watch me. Here you are. Like a stew peas in a pot. Oh, that's marvellous. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. That's wonderful. A gift, isn't it? Yes. Do you know, I, I'll bet the governor himself couldn't tell those apart. Well, he's never been able to before. Yeah. Oh. Go on, I wanted to send it. No, no. No, I, I, I couldn't. Uh, we'll have a cup of tea. Oh, thanks very much. Yes. Hmm. Certainly very much alike, aren't they? You know, I'd like you to get that job. I'm an old Narcobian myself. Are you really? Hmm. Hmm. I've got a boy there now. Oh, is that so? And you'll be a good influence to him. 
You know, he's inclined to be a bit wild. Mm, pity. Mm. Well, I'd like to be there, but uh, in view of this letter, you know, it's... Uh, well, why don't you send this one? Uh, oh, no, no, I couldn't. Oh, no. You know, if that letter had been in the envelope instead of this one, I... How many lumps? Four. Here you are. Oh, thanks. <coughs> oh, I say, you put in the letter that you signed. What of it? Well, now you've got to send it. Oh, no, no, I couldn't. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Why, why, I wouldn't sleep at a... Have you got a stamp? No. Oh, well, maybe I have. I'll buy one. Oh, I say, you, you haven't had your tea. You drink it. I don't care how good his references are, Lady Dawkins, but I don't consider that you and the rest of the board had any right to engage a headmaster whilst I was out hunting. Well, surely you couldn't expect us to wait until you'd finished running about after Fox. I shouldn't have gone, but I took it for granted that our assistant headmaster, Mr. Finch, would be promoted. Uh, Mr. Finch is not a strong enough character. I disagree with you. He's a man of very strong character, uh, like myself. I don't suppose you're influenced by the fact that he's your nephew. Uh, no, but I was merely thinking of the welfare of the school. So are we. That's why we've engaged Dr. Smart. He's due here within the hour, and I think when you meet him, you'll agree with our decision. Mm, I shan't be here to meet him. You engaged him. You meet him. Good day. Good hunting. Eh? Oh. <laughs> the colonel's a wee bit crusty this morning. <laughs>
bounce boat up to not arrive. Let's beat him in a body. Respect, sir. <clears throat> thank you. Would you uh, accept those with my compliments? Oh, thank you, Doctor. Oh. Uh, shall we go inside? Yes. yes. Well, um, thank you, boys. Half an hour. Oh, I've been feeding my rabbits, Uncle. Rabbits? Yes. You know, I started with Rover and only one other rabbit. Now I've got 17. Isn't it marvelous? Fiddlesticks! And whilst you've been messing about with your rabbits, I've been fighting to get you the headmastership. Oh, is it settled then? Yes. Oh, Spenny, when do I take over? You don't. Yeah. What? They engaged another man whilst I was out hunting. Oh, Uncle, if you hadn't been hunting for well, me. Damn it, sir, a man must hunt. But I'll show them they can't put anything over on me, hunting or no hunting. Well, it's a very great disappointment to me, Uncle. To me, Uncle Don't you I... worry. I'll have that man out and you in before they know where they are. Mr. Smith, Lady Dorking wants to see you in the library. Very well. Hold over, Uncle. Huh? Ooh. You sent for me, Lady Dorking? Oh, oh yes, Mr. Uh, this is Dr. Smart, our new... Uh, headmaster. Uh, Dr. Smart, this is Mr. Finch, your assistant. Oh, oh. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Uh, Mr. Finch, will you show Dr. Smart his quarters and introduce him to the other masters? <laughs> oh. Certainly, Lady Dorking. Uh, will you come this way? Yes, yes thank you. <coughs> Uh, good day, good day. Uh, this way. Oh. What is your full name, Doctor? Uh, Alexander Smart, M.A. Why? Well, we should want to put it on the roll of honor when you leave. When I leave? But, but I, I, I was just arrived here. Yes, but the job has to be done very quickly. This is your study. Oh. You see, you may not be here very long. No. Good morning, Dr. Smart. Oh, good morning. You're taking the sixth form this morning, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes, that's right, yes. Oh, boys. Could you tell me where the sixth form classroom is? Uh, through the cloisters and turn to the right. Uh, through the cloisters and to the right? Yes. Right. Right. Oh, 
I'll do. Uh, what are you doing here? Playing cards. Playing cards? Yep. Well, you're not playing for money, I hope. What do you think we're playing for? Nuts? Don't you mean you're playing cards for money? Yes. Well, how dare you do that? What's it got to do with you? Yes. Well, it's seeing that I'm your headmaster, I think it's got a lot to do with me. You boys have had far too much liberty. There's one of two things I'm going to put a stop to. And this uh, card playing is one of them. Oh, so you're going to stop us playing cards, are you? Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to make a few other alterations, too. I'm sure that my name's Alexander Smart. Go on, punch him on the nose. Yes. No, we don't want any rough stuff. Not yet. Now, look here, Alec. Smart Alec. I think there's one or two things you better know before we go any farther. If we want to play cards, we play cards. Don't we, boys? Yes. yes. And if you want to stay here any length of time, and you want a nice, quiet job, just mind your own business. You'll be all right. But if you don't, you'll get a kick in the neck. Come on, boys. Come on, put him up again. Put him out again. Sorry, if I if I said anything, I I, I shouldn't have said. I uh, I beg your pardon. The, uh, I knew at this school. I don't know the ropes yet. Buds off, buds off. I've got a half I say, are you the six form boy? Yes, not about it. Oh, I think it's uh, not much use for going into class by myself, is it? Would you like to join in the game? Join in what game? This game. What, uh, gambling? Yes. With For money? Yes. Yes, rather, oh, yes. What are, you, what are you playing? Banker. You know it? I, I've heard of it, yes. Oh, we'll soon show you. Right. <coughs> I'll make it easy for you. Good, that's right. Look, put out three packs. Yes. Now you can pick out any of the three packs and put your money on. Yeah, I mean, like a better. Yeah, you must leave me one. Huh? Okay, Smithy? I'll leave you this one. Right, that one's mine. Oh, and I can put money on the other, is that yep. it? Yeah. All right, well, I'll have, uh, I'll have half a crown on that and half a crown on this. Only half a crown? Well, I don't know the game yet, do I? All right. Ace, I win. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, I don't follow this, you know. You no sooner put the cards out, it's all over. Oh, it's all right, you'll soon pick it up. Yeah. Well, I'm not picking up much yet, am I? Well, I'll put them out again. Yeah, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I put them out? Yes, it'll be just the same. Oh, no. Just the same? Yes. Well, actually, I can't win at all. Oh, you may do, with luck. Oh, that's all right. Come on, come on. Well, wait till I get them out. Now, there you are. May I ask what you're supposed to be doing? Well, if it's any interest to you, I was playing cards. Uh, playing cards? Hmm. Have you got nothing better to do than to be playing cards? Haven't you anything better to do than interfere in other people's business? This is Narco over school, and I'm the headmaster. This is private property. You've got no idea at all, sir. I don't know who you are, but just because those gates have to be open, doesn't say you can come in here and do just as you like. But I, if you want to walk down the school and have a look around, that's all right. Only don't poke your nose into other people's business. Good day. Well, why? what a mug he is for a headmaster. What a gift to knock over. I hope he's got plenty of money. I hope he's got a checkbook. Well, you get his checkbook and I'll get his autograph. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, gentlemen, that I think it was a very unsportsmanlike thing of you to do to run away just because you were winning my money. Very unsportsmanlike indeed. In fact, it was a dirty trick. We didn't run away because we were winning your money. Oh, yes, you did. No, we didn't. 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 I say you did. All right, we'll play you now. Come on, then. Let's run. All right, come on, put him out. Come on, four packs. Four. Four, yeah. Four, yes. Oh, right. Two, three, four. Right. 
Daisy, look, we, look, we didn't come in because we were in here. No, no, I know. 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 I
you, uh, you, you've got to guess where the four aces are. Of course, the point of the trick is that the aces are not in the pack at all. Oh, then uh, where are they? Well, you see, they're, uh, they're like that, you see? There they are. <laughs> oh. oh, that's awfully good, isn't it, Colonel? <laughs> oh, well, that explains everything. <laughs> we mustn't keep Dr. Smart from his class any longer. Uh, will you see me to my car, Doctor? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, do take the dog for me, will you? Yes, yes, <laughs> Thank yes. you. <laughs> But my dear lady Dorping, the man's an imposter. Uh, Colonel, mind your blood pressure. What? Come here. My old man. I'll be right back. Never you sprung up since I see you last. Oh, it's a long time. Yes, yeah, so it is. What are you doing out so soon? Oh, good conduct remission. I think your tricks are awfully amusing. <laughs> do you? <laughs> you mustn't mind the colonel. He's no sense of humour. <laughs> no, I've noticed that. How do you like your new headmaster? Oh, he's a bit of a mug. He doesn't know much. Thank you. Well, I'll see you on Friday, Founders Day. Founders Day? Yes, didn't you know? No. Yes, Friday's our big day. We celebrate the founding of the school. Oh. <laughs> oh, we had lots of fun. Huh. I'll come over during the morning in case you need any help. Who's the old girl? That's Lady Dawkins. Don't you remember? I wrote you about her and her diamonds. Oh, that's her, is it? Yeah. Here. Yeah. How have you been spending your time with all that stuff walking about loose? Well, she only wears them on special occasions. Goodbye. Goodbye. When's the next special occasion? Friday, Founders Day. See you Friday. Hello, Governor. Hello. <coughs> Hello, Brown. How are you? Oh, I'm nicely, thank you. How's yourself? Oh, very well. What are you doing up here? Well, I just came down to have a look at my boy, you know, and to see how you were getting on. Ah, ah. Oh, see that letter done the trick all right? Yeah. Uh, yes, it did, yes. Thank you very much. I shall always be very grateful to you. Is there anything I can ever do for you, Brown? Just well, as a matter of fact, there is something you can do for me. Huh? Yes, I rather like the old place, you know. I think you'd better give me a job here. Well, I, I, I'm just new here myself. Oh, I, I don't mind what it is, you know. Any kind of job, inside job, outside job, I'm used to both kinds. Yes, of course, yes. <clears throat> After all, you know, one good turn deserves another. Yes, I suppose it does. Besides, if anybody should get suspicious about that letter... Well, I mean to say, I should be on right on the spot, see? To prove that the governor dictated it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Even though he didn't sign it. No. Uh, no. Why, do you think anybody might suspect? Well, you never know, you know, and after all, it'd be safer if I was here, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, I suppose it would. Well, then we'll call that settled. Yes, yes. <coughs> all right, uh, all right, Brown. Here, just a moment. What about a bit in advance? Can you spare a quid? <coughs> we'll make it two. Founders Day, we shall only have one lesson. We'll take uh, geography. Now, uh, <coughs> at the eastern end uh, of uh, Asia, we find China. That's not a bit funny. The uh, capital of China is Pekin, and the principal seaport is Shanghai. <coughs> Stand up. You stand up. <coughs> Don't do that again. Uh, 
Now, as I was saying, the capital of P uh, the, the China is uh, Peking, and it stands uh, just there. <coughs> no. There. Now, China is bounded on the north by uh, Manchuko... Manchu uh, by Manchu Manchukuo and on the south by Tibet. Now the people of Manchu uh, uh, the people of Manchu up here and uh, the people down here are much shorter than the people over there. Over there, they are much shorter than the people of China. There. How high is the Chinaman? What was it? How high is the Chinaman? H how high is the Chinaman? Yes. How high is... Well, it's, it's a silly sort of a thing to say, isn't it? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Huh? No, it Well, isn't. how high is a Chinaman? Yes. Well, it, it, it depends on the Chinaman, doesn't it? I mean, it's just as ridiculous as saying, um, uh, 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 well, how long is a tack? <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> how high is a Chinaman? That's got to be, Governor. Listen, I don't want any familiarity from you. That's quite enough. Listen, you can't say how high is a Chinaman. Yes, sir. No, there's no sense in it. Yes, there is. Oh, no, this is absolute rubbish. It says Well, all right, if you're so smart, how high is a Chinaman? Yes. What? Yes. Well, that's not answering my question, is it? You didn't ask me a question. Oh, yes, I did. No, you didn't. I said, how high is a Chinaman? That's not a question. Well, that's the same question that you asked me. I it? didn't ask you a question. Yeah. Oh, he said he didn't ask me a question. He, he did, didn't he? No. Yes. What do you mean, no? He said, how high is a... Didn't he ask me a question? Yes. 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 I'm not talking to you. You mind your own business. Give me a chance. You distinctly asked me how high was a Chinaman. I didn't ask you. I told you. Huh? I simply said, how high is a Chinaman? How high is his name? And he's a Chinaman. And he keeps a laundry. Who does? How high? <laughs> yes, well, you see, you misled me. That was the trouble. It was the way you said it that was wrong. You said, how high is a Chinaman? Now, if you'd said, how high is a Chinaman? <laughs> All right, we'll take singing. Uh, Fox, come back for me at five o'clock. No, no. Make it five fifteen. Yes, five fifteen would be better. Very good, my lady. Is Doctor Smart in his classroom? Huh? Oh, 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 yes, my lady. Step this way. Allow me. Good morning, Doctor Smart. Oh, good morning, lady doctor. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Doctor Smart. There are one or two little things I want to discuss about the ceremony. <laughs> uh, shall we go to your study? Oh, yes, yes, certainly. Yes. Uh, Brown, uh, tell Mr. Finch to come and take my class, will you, please? Well, boys, I'll see you at lunch. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, boys, just uh, carry on and uh, not too much noise, you know? you handle the boys, Doctor. You seem to have won their respect very quickly. Um, oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> well, it's all in the way you do things, you know. Yes. You have to be firm. Yes, otherwise they, they think you're a... Smart Alec is a gump. Who's Smart Alec, Doctor? Oh, uh, uh, well, it's, uh, oh, it's just a little uh, pet name the boys have for me, that's all. Oh, uh, and what's a gump? Well, uh, a gump is, um... Uh, let me see now, it's from the Latin. Uh, no, the Greek. It's uh, gump, uh, gumpus, gumpi, gump, uh, gumporium, gumpolio, gumpiffle. Um, uh, first person singular. Yeah, it means a friend in need. That's it. Friend in need. Mmm, yes. a gump. <coughs> yes, I should think that's just what you are. A real gump. Oh, oh yes, very nice of you to say so. <laughs> yes. Gump. Oh, I like that word. It just fits you. Friend in need. <laughs> you know, Doctor, I've been looking for a gump for a long time. The widow's life's a very lonely one, especially if she's rich. 
Don't you believe it? Eh? Oh, oh, I did. I can quite believe it. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> yes, it's very lonely. Yes, I suppose there's nothing, nothing quite so lonely as, uh, uh, well, being alone, is there? Oh, what a sweet... Oh, uh, did you ring, sir? No. No, Brown? No. Oh. Oh, uh, hadn't I better clean this off, sir? Oh, yes, thank you, Brown, yes. Uh, shut the door, Brown. I... Oh, uh... Very good, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, Lady Dorking, what is the exact procedure for Founders' Day ceremony? Well, after lunch, we have the school song and the usual presentation. Presentation? Yes. As chairman, I shall receive from the boys some little memento of the occasion, and I, in return, give the school a new rugby ball, which they use in the match against the old boys. Oh. oh. As a matter of fact, the boys have asked me to captain the school team this afternoon. Oh. Oh, that's splendid. That just shows what a gump they think you are. Yes. Uh, yes, I, uh, I believe you're right. Uh, did you call, sir? No, I didn't call, Brown. Oh. Why, yes, they play me tricks. Yes, I think they are. <coughs> that reminds me, Doctor. You promised to show me some more tricks. Oh, yes, so I did, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, do you know any of those tricks where you uh, make things disappear? You know, you think it's there, and it's not. It's somewhere else. And then you look again, and there it is. Well, uh, yes. Well, I, I know a trick with a, with a watch. Oh, do show me. Is, oh, right. Oh, it's, uh, it's quite good. Yes. I, oh, dear. Oh, one of the boys has borrowed my watch. Uh, oh, this, uh, oh well, too, use uh, my watch, Doctor. Yeah, thank you. Here we are. There. Yes, now you... Uh, oh, <coughs> yes. Well, uh, it's quite simple. You see, you fold, the, you fold the watch into the handkerchief like that, you see? Yes. Wrap it up like that very carefully, you see? And over again, like that, and then yes. over again. You see? Now, mm -hmm. feel the watch is in there. It's there, isn't yes. it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I put it down there, and I take the ruler, you see? I say, Alagazar, Alagazi, Alagazan. Oh, 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 Doctor! Oh, it's all right, it's all right. See? It's gone. Oh. There it is. Oh, is it? that's mum! Yes. <laughs> Where is it? Aha, you just watch. Yes. Oh, yes. but that's too marvellous, Doctor. <laughs> Do you do it? Very clever, isn't it? Very cute. Yes. Very cute. There, what do you want, Brown? Oh, how do you do, Colonel? How do you do? <laughs> oh, thank yes. you. Yes, that's just right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Colonel, the doctor's just showed me the most astounding trick with a watch. Yeah, give me your watch. Huh? Now show the Colonel the trick. Yes. <laughs> oh, you'll love this. It's so clever. Well, it's, it's just a, a simple little thing, Colonel. You put yes. the watch in the handkerchief like that, and you fold it up, you see? Exactly. Now, uh, just feel the watch is still in the handkerchief. That's right, now. Uh, oh, would you like to do the hitting? Oh, I would love to. Uh, you're not going to hit my watch. Yes. You can't do that. That was presented to me by the old Barclay Hunt. Oh, don't worry. You'll get such a surprise, won't you, Doctor? Yes, yes. Now, um, are you ready? Yes. Ah, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, Alagaza, Alagazi, Alagazi. What are you doing? Oh, don't worry, Colonel. That's just part of the trick. You wait till you see it. Now, show him, Doctor. Come on, now, quick. Watch! Oh dear! <laughs> oh, Doctor, what went wrong? Well, I, I think you hit it too soon. You know, you didn't wait for the alagazam. Oh. Alagazam! <laughs> what nonsense! I never heard. I believe you did it on purpose. Oh, oh Doctor, what did I think like that? The saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's a little You can't expect you know. it. I must wait somewhere. Well, well, Colonel, I did the hitting after all, and I'm dead. I'm sorry. Now, come along. We've got lots to do before lunch. Your watch. Ah. Oh, Doctor, you know, I, I'm awfully sorry I ruined your little trick. Oh. But uh, don't let the watch worry you. It was probably only a presentation one. <laughs> uh, come on, Colonel. And the Doctor will show you the trick some other time, won't you, Doctor? Oh, I'd love to, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, Doctor, I'll see you at the lunch. Yes, uh, we shall have a nice time, I hope. <laughs> well... That saved me a lot of hard work, that is. What has? You getting that old girl's necklace like that. What are you talking about? Come off it. It's in your pocket. In my pocket? Yeah, you know very well it is. What do you... What do you, what do you... Well, how did that get there? Oh, <laughs> I couldn't have done it better myself. Here have I been hanging around all the morning trying to get my hands on it, and you get it just like that. Are you, are you suggesting I stole it? I ain't suggesting. I know you did. I'll see you do it. 
You saw nothing of the kind. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, all right, then you come with me and you'll see me give it back. Here. You ain't going to give that back? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you ain't. Oh, yes, I am. If you do, I'll swear I see you pinch it. That you're only giving it back because I see you. Well, I shall deny it. Oh, all right, you deny it, and I'll tell him about the forged reference. Yeah, you can't deny that, can you? Come on, hand it over. No, I won't. Oh? No. <laughs> Girl, I really am awfully sorry about your watch. But it was fun. Wait a minute. Where's your diamond necklace? What? Oh, I must have dropped it somewhere. Well, you certainly had it on when you were in smart study a moment ago. Did I? I'm quite positive. Perhaps it's another of his conjuring tricks. Come on. Now, come on. Hand over that necklace. No, I'm not going to. Why not, sir? No, I'm not going to. I wonder what it's after. I'm not going to give the arm to them. I don't care what you say. Come I'm, I'm not going to let you have it. I, uh, I, I'm not going to let you have today, Oscar. You can have next Wednesday, but not today. Uh, uh, Lady Dawkins, uh, have you uh, forgotten something? Uh, Lady Dawkins has lost a very valuable diamond necklace. She must have dropped it in here somewhere. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, let's see. Well, we'd better help her look for it, hadn't we? Uh, come on, Val. Uh, I want to give it back. Now. Well, it doesn't seem to be here, does it? Uh, Thank you, Lossie, before you came in. Perhaps I did. I distinctly remember you had it on when he was doing that watch trick. It must have dropped somewhere about here. Well, we didn't seem to be here. We've looked everywhere, haven't we? We haven't looked everywhere yet. Eh? Huh? You don't mind being searched, do you? Searched? What oh, for? Colonel, don't be ridiculous. You never know. It might have got into one of his pockets. Or one of his conjuring tricks, eh? Doctor, humour him. Go on, let him search you. Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> very uh, ridiculous, rather. <laughs> It isn't there. Well, of course it isn't. Well, I hope you're satisfied. I think you owe Dr. Smart an apology. Well, I only searched him as a matter of form. Oh, well, perhaps you wouldn't mind me searching you as a matter of form. I mean, what's sauce for the goose, you know, is goose for the... for the... Uh, whatever it is. Uh, oh! <laughs> ah. Well, are you quite satisfied? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's another pocket here. <laughs> Why, it's not there. Of course it isn't. I wish I knew where it was. So do I. I think we ought to send for the police. But whatever for? Well, we're all under suspicion. I'm under suspicion. And I think it's only fair to me that... Hi! You, wait a minute. I haven't searched you yet. He's not a conjurer, are you, my man? No, my lady. I do invitations. Well, it's got to be found. Here, you. Give me that. No. Isn't there? You haven't looked in here. It isn't there. Well, I hope you're satisfied now. I still think we ought to send for the police. But I should do nothing of the kind. Why, we should have them running about all over the place. It, it would completely ruin fun to stay. Well, I shall call them in after the match. All right. If it doesn't turn up before, then you can have it your own way. Hmm. Now, let's go. I want to see the decorations. Uh, all right, Brown, you can leave those. Uh, just show Lady Dawkins the decorations. Yes, please. Such a fuss about nothing. It's sure to turn up. Come along, Brown. Oh, uh, yes, but it is. I still think I left it at home.
Where is it? Eh? Where is it? Where's what? The necklace. I put it in that decanter. Did you? Yes, you know John Bull, I did. And you're the only one who's been in the room since. Come on, hand it over. Oh, I, I, I didn't I didn't know it was in the decanter. I don't Mr. Finch wants to know when you're coming back, sir. Oh, oh I'll come now. I'll come right now. Yes. <coughs> I, I didn't know it was in the decanter. I, I didn't think it was all about it. I don't know where it's gone to. I mean, you had it last and you've lost it. Well, you can't blame me. Come on, I've got to go to my class. Now, look here. Hope Puddin' Face has sent to have the police here by 4.30. So I'm giving you till 4 o'clock to find them jewels and then them over to me. And if you don't, I'll knock your... Yes, but uh, Lady Dawkins might find them myself. By accident. Well, if she do, the accident will happen to you. Maybe you'll sign it in Chinese. <laughs> Oh, boys, what is it? Uh, this is the present we're giving to Lady Dorking, and we'd like you to sign the scroll that goes with it. Oh. Yes, pleasure. Yes. Yes. Can't you hold this for me? Ah, can I see the present? Oh. Oh, this is very nice. Very nice. Very pretty. What is it? It's a jewel case. A jewel case? Oh, oh, yes. Very useful. In fact, uh, just the thing. Uh, would you boys like a cigarette? Uh, you'll find some on the table. It's yeah. all right. Help yourself. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> mm. Very, very nice indeed. Yes. <coughs> Who presents that? Well, that's my job. Oh, dear. Oh, well, it's quite an honor. In fact, there couldn't be a better person. <coughs> She'll get quite a surprise when she uh, receives that, won't she? Hello, How are you? All right. Good. Which way? Which way? Hello, Peter. Hello. What's the idea? Hello, Peter. 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 I could have picked it when I was eight years old. Uh, I'm going to call upon the uh, on the school quartet to give us the knockover anthem, and I would like you all to join in the chorus in the right places. Take degrees, learning to take just one. 
Sewell Brown to make the presentation to her ladyship. You're going to get a big surprise, Lady D. Call me Violet. <laughs> uh, Lady Dorking, the bo uh, we, uh, that is the, the um, where we are. Never mind what. Come on, where have you hidden it? I don't know what you're looking you, for. Yes, you do know what I'm looking for. Come on, what, what have you done with it? Where, where, where is it? Give me the call. Come on, give me the call. Why don't you show it? Uh, I, I was just teaching him a few tackles. I see. Uh, yeah, I've come to the ball. Oh, there it is. I see. Good heavens, you're not ready. And the match starts in five minutes. And you'll have to hurry up. I mean, see, you can't keep him waiting like that, you know. Oh, I'll be there soon. Come here. Come here. I don't know anything about it. You know a lot more about it than you should know. 
Well, I'll see you after the match. Wait. What were you trying to tell me? That I had the necklace. What? Where is it? I had to hide it in the football. Football? Yes, now the referee's got it. <laughs> hey, Cyril. Yes, sir? Come on, we're nearly ready to start. Coming, sir. That's right. Come on. Keep your eye on that ball. You bet your life. Now listen to me. Quiet, boy. Now listen to me now. We're only playing a bunch of kids, see? So no kicking in the face. Oh, yeah, now I know. Yeah, you got to be... <laughs> well, that's a place. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's look like this. Don't forget to sing along. Don't wait up for me, James. <laughs> yes, Buggy. Take off them togs. What for? Well, I'm going to play in your place. You're not. Now, come on. Now, take them over. I'll stop you. You're what? You hurt. <laughs>
fine couple of mugs. There you are. That's it. That's, that's Lady Dorcas. She's been missing all day. Is that right, madam? Why, yes. But how on earth did he get in there? He knows. Hey, over there. I want to give that man in charge. What for? For stealing Lady Dawkins' necklace. I, I, I didn't steal the necklace. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, oh no, he never. You done it. What? I see him himself with me own mince pies. With you what? With me own eyes. Oh. Yeah. She drops it. He picks it up. Slips it in his pocket. Go on, don't... punch him on the nose. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh.